Uh, hi, I'm just going to read a section from my book, Ghost Lake, uh, from the story of Sturgeon. Uh, Kylie stares into the Coca-Cola waters of the lake. Anything submerged is given a rusty tinge. Untanned toes turn red in the shallows at the shore's edge. If she scooped out a sample of the lake, the glass would be amber filled with swirling, suspended solids. She's babying, babysitting her younger sister, only three years difference between them, but sometimes Kylie feels like her sister's keeper. Cadence is wearing her bright blue bathing suit and wading out into the shallows. She takes one more step and drops off a ledge hidden in the water. Where'd she go? Cadence? Kylie waits, but Cadence doesn't come back up for air. Shit, shit, shit. Kylie runs out, lifting her knees high to get her feet above the waterline as she splashes into the lake and dives, keeping her eyes open. There's a gradation of color rating outwards, yellow to orange, red to brown, brown to black. Anything further than a few f feet away is lost in the dimness. The deeper she dives, the murkier the water becomes. She has to feel her way around with her hands. Her lungs burn. She can hear her heart pounding in her ears like a drum. Her eyes sting with the strain of seeing. Her brain creates in starburst flashes of light. Where is she? Kylie feels her fingers tangle in the strands of her hair, sister's hair and she pulls. C Cadence takes a huge breath of air as they surface, spluttering and gasping. The lake is beautiful, but like all bodies of water, it is also dangerous. This one more so than others.